All right, Mavericks fans, if you want the Dallas Mavericks to sign Kai Soto, subscribe to the channel right now. We have a major Kai Soto update as he is set to work out for the Mavericks. Could it happen? If you want it to happen, speak your mind by subscribing to the channel. Let's dive on in to the latest. You're watching Mavericks Today by Chat Sports. My name is Harrison Graham. We just teased it off the top. Kai Soto, you guys know the name, uh, Filipino's finest, has uh, spent the last couple of years with the Adelaide 36ers in the NBL, but he is set to work out for the Mavericks according to a report on Tuesday and Wednesday, set to fly out to Dallas from the West Coast on Monday. He's out on the West Coast because he recently did a workout for the Utah Jazz. Uh, he, of course, is trying to become the first homegrown Filipino to make an NBA team. There's guys uh, with Filipino backgrounds that have made it in the NBA. Jordan Clarkson's one of them. Uh, but uh, no homegrown Filipino has ever made it to the NBA. And this would be wild to say the least for that exact reason, right? I mean, this is a potential scenario where not only the Mavericks, but Kai Soto would make history if he were able to uh, sign with the Mavs or with any NBA team. So this is certainly something to monitor. I know we have a lot of Philippines fans here at Chat Sports, uh, NBA, Philippine NBA fans, I should say, here at Chat Sports and at Mavericks today. And a lot of support for Kai Soto all over the world. And a little profile for him. He, of course, was draft eligible last year, didn't go drafted, so stayed uh, in the NBL and played over there. Some international ball. Great size, 7'3", 230. Skilled offensively, like he really is. I mean, he can score around the basket, has a little bit of mid-range action as well. Good screen setter. Does struggle tremendously defensively. S slow foot speed. Gets stuck on switches. That's a problem as well when he's out on the perimeter having to guard guards. Uh, he, of course, like I mentioned, has spent the last couple of years in the NBL. And over those past two seasons, and this is only playing like 12 to 15 minutes per game, uh, he's averaging over seven points per game, four and a half rebounds, almost a block a game, 51% uh, from the field, 29% from three. If you average that out over three, Per 36, 36 minutes per game, he'd be averaging about 20 points, 11 rebounds, uh, and about two and a half blocks. Obviously, there's a reason he doesn't get more minutes because, again, that defensive foot speed is a bit of a problem. Uh, but I will say this, whether it's with the Mavs or with someone else, I would like to see Kai in the NBA Summer League. Come play with the team for the Summer League. Plenty of teams would love to have Kai Soto on a Summer League roster, even if not on an official roster, because uh, A, he would bring in a lot of fans, and B, uh, I want to see what this guy can do uh, in you know somewhat comparable to NBA caliber of play then maybe if he does well there he signs with the team and you know maybe can play with the G League or you know sign a two-way contract where he can further develop I think he's got uh, some skills offensively he's just always going to have some limitations on the defensive side of the floor but uh, something to monitor he's already worked out for the Jazz he's now working out for the Mavericks so uh, this is a story that could, could continue to develop uh, as things progress this offseason now will Kai Soto ever make it in the NBA and make it and play in a single game, just one game. Type Y for yes, type in for no. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Will Kai Soto ever make it in the NBA? Next up, we move forward here. Bleacher Report dropped an article with one trade idea for every non-finals uh, NBA team. And uh, the Mavericks, of course, had their own trade in this article, but we're also involved in another team's trade as well. So thought I'd break these down and give kind of my reaction and analysis uh, to these trades, and no shocker, their Mavericks own trade idea from Bleach Report is involving DeAndre Ayton because we lack creativity. Uh, <laughs> at least Bleach Report does. DeAndre Ayton to the Mavericks for Christian Wood in a sign-in trade, who of course is set to be a free agent, Josh Green, and JaVale, McGree uh, JaVale McGee. Now, I'll be honest, if you guys couldn't tell, uh, I'm a bit bored of Ayton to the Mavs ideas. Not because I don't think getting Ayton would help this team, uh, but it's just like, is there any other trade out there that's possible? Like, it's the only trade that uh, these websites uh, kind of uh, propose out there. Now, we could, of course, talk about it here. Aiton, we know kind of what the deal is. He's a double-double guy, 18 and 10. I wish he was better defensively, uh, doesn't block a ton of shots. Um, you know, I think he could be better in that regard. And for whatever reason, he 
becomes less of a factor in the playoffs. Like his numbers go down. I think it's because, oh, come playoff time, you need guards and wings that can score. And DeAndre Ayton's obviously a big who's good, but uh, does he uh, lead to winning at a high level uh, with him being a major factor? That still remains to be seen. Uh, now, the upside of this trade in particular, which we'll show again in just a moment, is doesn't factor the number 10 overall pick because that's kind of been my hesitation with Ayton is do I want to trade the number 10 pick plus asset player assets for him? I'd rather not, but in this trade, which we'll put back on screen here, you're not giving up the number 10 pick. You're giving up Christian Wood, who you're going to let go anyway in a sign-in trade. Josh Green, it's a notable loss, but I'd rather have DeAndre Ayton. And JaVale McGee, who stinks, but was decent in Phoenix, so I could see that side of it. So even though I'm bored of the Ayton trades, I probably would do this one because you still have the number 10 pick. You could use that in a separate trade or you could draft a young player. Let me know what you guys think. Who wins this trade? So type M for the Mavs or S for the Suns. I actually think the Mavs win this trade and uh, it would be a decent move for Dallas. Uh, I told you guys off the top, if you want the Mavs to sign Kai Soto, subscribe. Also, if you just want more Mavericks news, rumors, trade buzz, and more content throughout the offseason, Another reason to subscribe, we put put out videos uh, about four or five days a week, and uh, that number will increase as the offseason progresses. So subscribe today. We're going to have you covered with the latest Mavericks rumors. Okay, uh, the second Bleacher Report trade idea here. Just a simple one-for-one -one swap. Uh, Reggie Bullock to Sacramento uh, for Rashawn Holmes to the Mavericks, who, of course, has been linked to Holmes in the past. Uh, now you look at Rashawn Holmes' as, uh, last four seasons, and – it's just kind of bizarre, right? Like, what's the issue here? Like, 2019, 20, 12 and 8, 2020, 2021, 14 uh, and 8, 2021, 22, 10 and 7. So, a little bit of a down, down tick there. Then last year, he's just out of the rotation, like, not a factor. Sacramento becomes this really good playoff team, and Holmes is not a part of it. Uh, so, which Holmes are you getting? Like, if you're the Dallas Mavericks, is he a guy that can average close to a double double again for you, or is he a washed product? I don't know. He's 30 years old now. So, you know, maybe uh, he is a wash product. That could be the case. I, I find it hard to believe he can't be more than, you know, three points per game. Like, can't be at least eight to ten points per game, six to eight rebounds. But who knows? There's a reason Sacramento didn't play him. They were a great team this year, too. So something went on there. Now, Reggie Bullock, uh, for as much flack as we give him, I mean – Look, he's a good 3 and D guy, right? 38% from three. Uh, he can defend multiple positions. I don't think he had his best year defensively this past season, but he's still a plus on that end. And he's affordable, too. Cheap 3 and D guy. Like, that. there's value there. Catch and shoot guy that shoots at a good clip, and uh, he can defend guys. So, um, you know, as weird as it sounds, if this were a year or two years ago and you asked me who would I rather have, Reggie Bullock or Rashawn Holmes, I think I would easily say Rashawn Holmes. But now, an offensive center that – didn't play much last year and has had declining production and doesn't really help you that much defensively, I might lean Reggie Bullock. What do you guys think? Who wins this trade? Type DAL for the Mavs, SAC for the Kings. I actually think the Kings do because Bullock would be in their rotation when Rashawn Holmes is not. So uh, I would rather keep the 3 and D perimeter player, but that's just me. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for Dallas Mavericks today. More videos to come throughout the week. So, again, subscribe, turn on your notifications. That way you never miss a video here on the channel. I am Harrison Graham. Until next time, go Mavs.